this season on Bird Dog Wars. The players push on to an uncertain future. Get a bird, come on, get a bird. This points race for me, uh, it's huge. We need to get points tomorrow to continue our chase. Heal, heal, Competitors heal, heal. battle to fight back their emotions. I'm gonna do every ounce of what it takes between me and the dog to win. With the points race looming, hunters struggle to hold it together. Ah! I feel like I've been punched in the gut. They know yeah. nothing about what right, the future holds. If I don't get points on these dogs, it could be catastrophic for the business. Last week, we watched as top pointing breed veterans right. Craig Steinbach and Gary Busboom battled it out in the pointer division. Zach Foss and his German short hair Lincoln won the event, sending Bernie Birkenholtz, RJ Tooney, and Scott LaPlante home empty handed. This week, it's the Flushing Division Finals at the Trigger Time Major Championship. And one of those players is the number one world ranked player in the game. Every chance I get to run against Jerry Brost, I want to beat him so bad. You know, he's one of those players that's just awesome. If you want to be the best, you got to beat the best, and he's always got a target on his back. I would say the favorite would be Jerry Brost. You know, like Jerry Brost isn't here, but he's a fun guy to beat. Jerry Brost has been around in the game a long time. Jerry does intimidate me. Jerry Brost is the guy to beat. Anywhere you go in the country, he's the guy to beat. Jerry, I'm coming for you tomorrow. Be ready. To meet him, we travel to Arbor Vida, Wisconsin, and catch up with the legend, Jerry Brost. Jerry Brost is currently the most dominant player in the Flushing Division, and he's the number one ranked player in the Bird Dog Circuit World Rankings. Entering the game almost 10 years ago, he's amassed over 13,000 champion points with his Labradors, and has 49 Super Major wins and five World Cups. At the time when I started the game, there was a lot of intimidating people because they had been playing the game for a while, but in my mind, it's like any other game that you're gonna come to play. You need to prepare yourself and your dogs for what you're gonna do. You gotta run your own race. I guess at some point in this game, I finally, I, I lost the intimidation and I knew I was a good player and that's what I had to tell myself. Jerry strives to do things the right way. Yeah, in some respects, sometimes I think he's a little anal and I go, step back and say, okay, that's, he responds that way because he's Mr. Type A perfectionist. <laughs> so for a living, I've been in the general contracting business for about the past 30 years, doing a lot of design custom build homes. A building like this is what I do. It's, it's the essence of what I do. It's, it's what I love to do. It's my design with the homeowners, designing what their dream is. One of the advantages of living here in Northern Wisconsin is the absolute beauty of it, the wildlife, the lakes, the woods. One of the disadvantages is the training dogs here. We have no fields to work dogs in around here. I do use a little bit of state land, and we do have a North 40 camp uh, about 45 minutes north of here with fields in it that I do get to go train my dogs on. In my mind, not all training needs to come from the field. There's a lot of work to be done before you go to the field with the dogs, but I work my dogs differently than a lot of people work with their dogs. And we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Everything I've ever done in my life is hunt, trap, and fish. I never was a sports person in school. It just wasn't me. I was a kid going after school, trapping, uh, going pheasant hunting, doing whatever. It's pretty important to me to pass some of my knowledge along. Uh, we were never blessed with kids, but we, we enjoy a lot of other people's kids. So I guess advantage to it, I can send them home at the end of the day. But I sure do enjoy teaching them the outdoors and what it has to offer. The main reason why I hang out with Jerry is because he just teaches me a lot of things that no one else does teach me. He opens my mind to a lot of new things and I just love having that opportunity. He's kind of like a second father to me. We may not catch an otter today, but it's not always about the kill, it's about the experience. 
Dan Soika was number one in the BDC World Rankings when he first met Jerry Brost. I guess the first time I remember Jerry was at the Top Gun Championships because it was a big event. You had four fields, 160 runs over three days, and Jerry Bros and Tika were one of those dogs. They said there was only a two second difference between first and second, and I took first with Jag, and Jerry took second with Tika. That was really when I knew that he was gonna be pretty good. I was seeing Jerry more and more in the top 10 runoffs. And um, at the time, you had great players like my partner, Casey Powell. He had Newman, was a great dog. And then you had Doug Lundy and Jeremy Hoyt. You had Jamie Gunn, Ken Meese, who was running a lot of good dogs at the time, Chance and others. So at the time, you had a lot of good dogs. The guys today, they have to be sharp. They have to be on. They have to back up the talk. If you're gonna talk the talk, you better walk the walk, because that's what Jerry Bros does. When we come back, it's the Flushing Division Finals at the Trigger Time Major Championship. Bird Dog Wars is presented by Electronic Shooters Protection, providing shooters with state-of-the-art electronic hearing protection since 1994. Loyal Dog Food, with grain-free choices at an agricultural store near you. Garmin, dog tracking, training systems, and the Verb Action Camera. CZ USA, protect, hunt, compete. And Dogs Unlimited and Thunderstick Lodge. Last week, at the Trigger Time major event, as the pointing division wrapped up, so did the flushing division. And there was Jerry Brost, <laughs> competing as he always does, on top and putting two dogs in the finals. Nobody is tougher than Jerry. Jerry owes most of his success to his black female Labrador, Tika. I knew Tika as a pup was a pretty special animal. She's just got this little extra aura about her. She's got that look in her eye. Uh, that is just different than any other dogs. I, I've run a lot of great dogs, but she just has that look in her eyes. She was Here fast go, in the field with a nose to go, go with go, it. Go, Very smart. Time. You could nick a bird and nick over the hill in the woods. And Tico, you could guarantee just stand still. She was coming back with a bird. Being that she's nine and a half this year, there is a good possibility this could be Tika's last go around for Dog of the Year. Uh, so I guess I am pulling for her. Behind Tika is this Desi dog, who's a phenomenal dog who has just not had that opportunity. She always just been in that little bit of shadow behind Tika, but uh, I would bet my paycheck on Desi any day of the week. Go, sweetheart. Now with three speedy flushing Labrador retrievers, Jerry has risen to the top of the bird dog circuit world rankings. My focus is to not let that dog down. It's what I train my dogs for, it's what I've trained myself for. Is it a bit intimidating? Yes, but if you're gonna be the best, you gotta beat the best and you gotta get there mentally, as well as physically, and as well as your dog. Everything has to be prepared. This is part of my training shooting program before I go to tournaments. It's, uh, I have my own clay thrower with a fob. I wanna shoot birds coming at me, passing me left, right, and everything else. It gets me to swing my gun, keep the head on the gun. That's the two main things that'll usually get you. With the first run of the day, Jerry and Desi will attempt to set the pace for the rest of the competitors who follow. Do I know who's in the field today? Yeah, I know that Ron's in the field. I know that Matt Beastie's in the field. Rich is in the field. There's a new guy that's here that's playing today by a dog named Cooper I know that I heard was in the field. And that's kind of what I know. I know there's six dogs today and that's about it. I focus on what I have to do, what I have to do with my dogs and how I'm gonna run the field. That's really what I do. They'll need to bag four birds under 12 minutes to stop the clock. It's something they've done a hundred times before. With the first bird plainly in the bag in under a minute, Desi is showing her tenacity. Desi used to be a speed demon. 
sometimes actually overrun her nose and she's taken herself down to a level that she doesn't go by anything. That's what's made her so phenomenal. Winning the last year's world championships, last year's national championships in the singles and even the NUX national championships doubles. She's been pretty much one of the dogs Take. to beat and very smooth, very efficient, very thorough. Nice job, sweetheart. Thank you. Yeah. With three broods in just over three minutes, it's easy to see Get why up, Jerry is so tough up. to beat. Nice job. Let's go, sweetheart. Time! A clean four minute and 30 second run is bad news for the rest of the field who follow. End goal, one, two. Tika Desi, Desi Tika. I don't care which way. That's why I come to play. Can anyone beat Jerry Brost to claim the title? We're back at the Trigger Time major event in La Center, Minnesota for the Flushing Division Finals. Jerry Brost has two dogs in the final runoff, and all players in the finals will be trying to beat Jerry to collect the trophy and the valuable points they need for Dog of the Year. This is not a new story, as Jerry is always in the finals. Corey Nelson from Illinois is up next with his dog, Cooper. For Corey and Cooper to have a chance to win, they must beat Jerry and Desi's four minute, 30 second clean run. Well, to be honest with you, I didn't even pack any luggage or book a hotel room. I drove straight through the night, so obviously I didn't expect to be here today. So no, I didn't expect to be this close in the run. I'm pretty excited about it. Cooper's got a job to do and I got a job to do. If we both do it at the same time, I think we got a pretty good chance. So yeah, nerves are getting a little high, but once you get to the line, you just settle down and do what you're here for, go to work. And I'm here after Jerry and I'm here after Ron. They can't be the top gun forever. <laughs> so here we go. Hold on. I've already got a place for that cup sitting right on the fireplace mantle. Well, I'd ask Jerry to sign it for me so I can take it home. You're welcome, Corey. Jerry Bros. <laughs> Get him out of there. I'm just kind of waiting to see what's going on. It's hard not being able to watch, so I'm kind of just sitting back here nervously and just hope that he's flushing them out for him. Hold him up. Here. Here. Good boy, let's go, hunt him up. 122. If somebody said a new guy can't get in the runoff, well, that's the worst thing you can say to a new guy. Because <laughs> we're going to show you wrong. <laughs> oh, Three birds together. All right, I'm going to take my parcel, I guess. Might as well get one more bird in the bag anyway. Cooper, get him, get him, get him. Get him out of there. Where's that bird? Wow, Corey and Cooper, there's a lot to talk about. He had a lot of stuff going on right there. He had three birds come up at the end of his dog, two of which were super killable. Unfortunately, he only had one shell in his gun. He fired the gun once and his bolt locked back. So he was done. And then the third bird comes up and you can just see it in his body language that he was just like, ugh. So if we really want to dissect what happened, yeah, he only had one shell in the gun, but remember, you gotta kill the first one first. So it's to the first bird that you see clearly, make a move on that, forget about the other two. And if it just so happens that that second bird presents itself well enough to take another shot on, do it. I really feel bad for Corey and Cooper, mainly Cooper. I'm Dave Miller with CZ USA. Remember, shoot safe, shoot often, and shoot a CZ. In the bird dog circuit, making the wrong decision will be costly to your score. Time. It was a tough finals run for the Nelson Cooper team, but a great accomplishment to make the trigger time finals. They'll be back to fight another day. If you're watching right now and you've got any inclination to try in this, just get off your butt, get up, get joined to the BDC and come out to one and you'll probably be addicted. Next up, it's Region 2 competitor Ron Beisman and Vince in their finals mm. run. Do they have what it takes to beat Jerry today? I respect Jerry, I kind of hate Jerry all in the same. 
I've only beat him once at the world national level. That was in 2013, and I finished second to him six times. But there's some people here that, I mean, you just downright want to beat, and you want to beat them bad. I've been runner-up so many times. It, it really grinds on you. These dogs' noses are incredible. I'm blessed to have a dog that's got just a super fantastic nose here. I think he's going to lead me right on where I need to go. Get let's go. Now, I'm following him 100% today. Ron Beisman and Vince need to beat a 4 minute and 30 second clean run that was posted earlier by Jerry Brost and Desi. Where is it? Big day for me, real big Denver. day for me. Points are very important and the placing is very important. But right now with the region Denver. 2 the way it is, right. that, that race Denver. can change Dominic. in the drop of a hat. 54 seconds. Let's go, come on kiddo. Alright, come on, let's find it. Find it, come on, you got it. Hold on, huh? We have one bird. Gosh darn it. Another slow start shows just how tough scenting conditions must be. Bird Dog Wars is presented by Electronic Shooters Protection, Loyal Dog Food, Garmin, CZ USA and Dogs Unlimited and Thunderstick Lodge. Wow, what do we got for time, Raj? You're at 7.23. Wow, this is tough. Where's it at, huh? Shucks. Come on, old buddy. All right, come on, let's find it. Nice job, come on, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Come on, hurry up, quick. All right. Mud Raj! A disappointing finish for the Beisman Vince team. They won't win today. I'm gonna have to shoot his legs out from underneath him or something. I don't know. That's about the only I, that's the only way I'm gonna beat that guy. I, I know it. Finalists Rick Stuntbeck and Sky went full time also, as did Matt Biesterveld and Briley. With all the finals flushing runs complete but one, let's look at the top five placements on the leaderboard to recap the trigger time major flushing event finals. A quick start and clean run for Jerry Brost and Desi show them clearly in the lead. Ron Beisman and Vince move into second place with a 10 minute 32 second time. And all other competitors have gone full time. With all flushing competitors now finished in the trigger time major event, just one run remains for the championship. Jerry Brost and Tika are the last run of the day. With every other competitor struggling to find their birds, it's unimaginable that Tika could beat a four minute time. Oh yeah, feeling pretty confident here. Got uh, probably one of the smartest there is. All I really got to do is follow her, keep her nose into the wind. I try to beat every run I go in the field. I don't care what it is. Yeah, Des had the second run. I really don't know what there is for times, but I know what her time was and, and I'm going to beat that. I always got to give every dog their opportunity. Hold. Come on. Yeah. 44 seconds. Tika's a little bit older now. She's not as fast as she used to be, but I can depend on her nose. I'll just get her out into the wind. Let her run it. Still shooting for that one-two spot. That's why I come to play the game. An amazing start for Tika. Yeah. Yeah, Viper. Come on, sweetie. Tika, yeah. 147. This cover in this field it is low enough that Tico would just be able to run and cut the wind. If the field was a little bit taller, she'd be on her hind legs a little bit more. She doesn't have the speed to quarter like Desi does and the fluency of that. Um, she's just a little smarter, knowing she's not as fast anymore, and she's adjusted herself just to cut the wind. Right here, right here, right here. 212. One more clean bird, and Tika wins the Trigger Time Major Championship. Take it. Take it. Come on, sweetie. Come on, sweetie. Time. Tika is the trigger time major champion, <laughs> posting a three minute and 15 second clean run. For an old dog to call the field like that, to not overexert herself, just to run to win like I said she would, she's the Tiger Woods of tournament hunting. That's all I can tell you. An amazing performance by Tika and Jerry. 
We can see why Cherry is tough to beat. Next week, Bird Dog Wars moves to Meriden, Kansas for the Bird Dog Circuit World Championships. With super major status on the line and a 50 point win for the winners, it'll be a whirlwind of pressure for these competitors. Follow us as we follow the pointing breeds and introduce the flushing division. Find out if Bernie Birkenholtz and Puckett can make a comeback. Can RJ and Blaze make the world finals or will it be Boomer who finally sends Steinbach packing? Pat's here. With the flushing division points race also heating up, Region 2 tournament pros Ron Beisman, Jeff Lecker, and Mike Vaughn will bring their A-games. Region 4 and 5 pros Mike Pyle and Bing Wesner will be there to win, and everybody will be chasing the dominator, Jerry Brost, and his red-hot Labradors. Next week, when Bird Dog Wars returns. It was a great weekend here in Minnesota at Traxler's for the Trigger Time Tournament here. Uh, Tika pulled off the win here, even though she's probably one of the oldest that was on the runoff. Uh, it was that age and using her nose uh, that took me to it. Yes, we'll see how the rest of the chase goes here to the dog of the year. Rocky.